Mike Tyndall used an insulting and derogatory phrase to refer to Prince Harry during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations earlier this month, Express can reveal. The remark was made to a fellow guest at a reception following the Platinum Party at the Palace on Saturday, June 4. Prince Harry had returned to the UK for the Jubilee celebrations along with his wife, Meghan, and the couple's two children. They were not present at the televised concert with the rest of the royal family, assembled just in front of Buckingham Palace. Mr. Tyndall, who is married to the Queen's granddaughter, Zara, was sitting just behind the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Louis. Mr. Tyndall said that the open-air concert, featuring performances by the likes of Duran Duran, Diversity and Elton John, allowed the royals to chat and enjoy a drink together after the show. He told the good, the bad, and the rugby podcast, it was at the concert where there was a bit more of a chat together because we went in and had a drink with everyone after. I think the committee that put it together did an incredible job. It was following the concert that Mr. Tyndall spoke to a fellow guest and referred to Prince Harry's behavior as that of ABD. During the Jubilee celebrations, Meghan and Harry made just one official appearance with the rest of the royal family. They attended the service of Thanksgiving held at St. Paul's Cathedral on June 3rd, but were otherwise largely hidden from the public and the media throughout the celebrations. As the rows of royals exited the cathedral following that service, Zare paused near the exit with her husband to talk with those leaving the building. Television footage clearly shows them then approached by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who animately chatted with the Queen's granddaughter. But her husband appears to visibly avoid speaking with Prince Harry and Meghan throughout the conversation, instead staring into the distance and striking up a separate chat with David Armstrong Jones, Earl of Snowdon and the late Princess Margaret's son. Prince Harry and Meghan then move away from the Duke's cousin towards the steps of the cathedral, without acknowledging the ex-rugby union player. Speaking to Express.co.uk following the service, Body language expert Judy James suggested that Mike's closeness to William appeared to have created a bit of a dilemma as Harry stepped out into Zara's group. She added, Zara looks happy to chat and even turns fully to talk to Harry here, who is looking anxious and keen to get into his own car. Mike though remains facing forward, looking about and holding his order of service up with a look of awkwardness. In the end he talks to Viscount Lindley, who turns his own back on Harry, cutting the two men off from Zara's conversation with Harry. Royal commentator Lady Colin Campbell also claimed in the wake of the service that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were avoided like the plague, and that nobody would speak to them at a number of jubilee events. Lady Colin told GB News Colin between the booing and the cold shouldering that they got from everybody, my understanding is that by the time they left they were absolutely spitting bricks. And then the coup de grace as far as they were concerned was not only that they were booed, but while they were waiting for the car, nobody would speak to them except Zara. Mike Tyndall avoided them like the plague. He made absolutely sure he did not catch their eye. Mr. Tyndall has previously joked that members of the royal family would like to throw a few punches at the Duke of Sussex. He made the comments during a question of sport live at the London Palladium back in September 2021. He was joined by former England rugby player Matt Dawson, who recounted a night out with Prince Harry and ex-teammate Ian Balshaw in Sydney in 2003. Royal expert Richard Eden said Balshaw and Tyndall thought it would be amusing to throw a few punches at the Prince to test how long it would take Harry's personal protective officers to intervene. Mr. Eden quipped, a few seconds, it turned out. Mr. Tyndall said, Ed Balmoral. The family are now having the same conversation. He added, except the Queen has taken his security away. Express.co.uk has contacted Mike and Zara Tingle for comment. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.